what is it guys my name is Driftwood welcome back to another video today I'm going to be talking about how to make the most low quality sounding uh, music ever first thing you want to do is find an audio file of your choosing I chose one of my songs click the link down below to check out Blue Order on SoundCloud but I chose this song because it is uh, copyright free and then you're also going to want to make a new folder name it whatever you want because you're going to be exporting multiple audio files to get it as low quality as possible. So then you're going to want to open up Audacity. Free program you can download. You can also do cool stuff with audio. Import your song. Now it sounds totally normal and regular. First thing you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom left here and where it says project rate. Um, drop that down to 8000 which is the lowest that it goes to here. Then also you're going to want to go up to effect up here. Amplify. Uh, put it at minus 50. Which is all the way down. Okay. And it won't look like there's any audio there. But there is. It's just very very quiet. And that adds to the low quality effect. So then you're going to want to export as mp3. Uh, name it whatever you want. Down here where it says quality, normally it'll be set to this preset here, and you can pick between these, but you're going to want to go to constant down here, and then drop it down to the lowest possible it goes, which is 8 kilobits a second. And also, very important, you're going to want to check this force export to mono thing right here. So that means it won't be in stereo anymore. And hit save. Okay. Close that. Import the file you just created. Go up here to effect and amplify, and then put it at the max right here, which is 50, which will bring it back to normal-ish levels. So now it sounds super low quality already. But we can go even further by uh, re-exporting it. Now you can re-export it as many times as you want to get it as low quality as you want. It's going to keep getting worse and worse over time. But eventually it won't really, uh, it won't be that noticeable of a difference. But for me, I'm almost done. So then what I'm going to want to do is bring it back up to its original sample rate. I don't know why this works, but if you like try to get Audacity to export in higher uh, sample rate than the song is, then it'll make it sound worse somehow. So then you're going to want to export this again as MP3. Same exact settings, just change the name. Save it. It's going to pop up this thing because it can't actually go that high with this bitrate. So then, yeah, put it on 24,000. That works. And if you listen to your final export, for me, it's only the second one. But I've had it go as far as 12 before <laughs> when trying to make low quality sounds. But it sounds like this. Sounds totally awful, and that was the point. And you can mess around with any of these settings, you can make it go not as low. Sometimes I like that. And uh, basically, re importing and exporting, maybe changing some things around sometimes. I find the uh, uh, putting the amplification all the way down and then back up again also makes it sound lower quality each time. You can keep doing that. It depends on how far you want to go. But for me, this is a normal, a pretty good result. Makes it sound like crusty and straight out of 2007 or something. And that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to check out my new SoundCloud under the name Blue Order in the link down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Goodbye.